What up folks, it's Alex here. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to 5 Minute Fridays. Now in this one, we're gonna cover something quite basic but really useful to know, and that's how to transform and crop the video footage on your timeline. Now no waffling today, let's get straight to it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve as always, and we're on the Edit tab. Now there are two ways to transform and to crop within DaVinci Resolve. You can use this icon here, or you can use the inspector tool. Now we're gonna have a look at this icon here, which is sort of the manual way of doing things. So I'm gonna click on this little drop down, and I've got two options, transform and crop. So I'm gonna click on transform, and you'll see I'll get this square around my preview window. With these icons in the corners, as well as halfway along each of the axes, and finally two in the center of the image. Now transforming simply means to zoom in or to zoom out or to make your video bigger or smaller. So I'm gonna click on the icon in the corner and I could drag my mouse outwards to zoom in and then inwards to zoom out or outwards to make it larger, inwards to make it smaller. Now you'll notice no matter what I do with my mouse, the aspect ratio never changes and that's because it's locked, which means your image won't become distorted. If, for whatever reason, you do need to distort the size of your video, if you hold this shift key and then click on the icon in the corner, you now have full control over all the axes. So you can skew it and shift it as much as you need to. You can also do the same by clicking on the icons located halfway along each of the axes. So I can click on this icon here to bring it in across the X axis, and then I can use this icon here to do the same on the Y, and I can adjust them independently. Now in the center, you'll see two icons with a line. If I click on the top one, I can rotate the video. Now you can see there's a circle that appears. If I drag my mouse inwards towards the center, the circle becomes smaller, allowing me to do faster adjustments. If I need to be more accurate, I can move my mouse outwards to make the circle larger, and then I've got finer control over the rotation. To adjust the crop, I just need to click on this icon again to go to crop. Now it works in predominantly the same way, but with a crop you're not zooming in or out, you're just cutting off sections of your video. So I can click on this icon on the right hand side and I can just drag the right hand side in, revealing whatever's underneath. Now in my instance there's nothing underneath, but if you'd layered a couple of video clips on top of each other, you'd be revealing the clip underneath. I can do the same on the left, the right, the top and the bottom. I can also control both the bottom axis and the side axis using the icons in the corner. Now you can also do the same thing using the inspector tool which is located here on the right hand side. Now if you don't see this, simply click on inspector located in the top right hand corner to open up your inspector tool. You then need to ensure that you've selected video and scroll down to the transform area. Now you can type these numbers in manually but unless you know exactly what you want, it's not the best way of doing things. If you hover your mouse over the numerical value, you'll see your cursor will change to two arrows. If you then click, you can drag to the left or to the right to zoom in and out. Now you can also click on this chain icon here to separate the X and the Y axis, so I can adjust the X and the Y separately. Now at any point, if you're not happy with your changes, you can click on this icon here to reset to the default. You can do exactly the same thing for position, Again, X and Y, and reset. The rotation, as well as adjusting your anchor point. So this dot in the very center is the anchor point, and if I rotate, it rotates around this point. If I move that anchor point, so let's move it over here somewhere, and then rotate, you can see it's rotating around that anchor point and not rotating around the center. I can then also adjust the pitch and the yaw. Again, I can reset if needed. Last but not least, I can flip vertically as well as horizontally. Now, if you've adjusted lots of things in here and you're unhappy with it and you want to reset, you can click on this icon here, which is basically a master reset for the transform. And that'll take you back to all the default settings. Now, if I scroll down, you can do the exact same thing for cropping. So we've got crop left, right, top, and bottom. So I can crop in from the left, the right, the top, and the bottom. I can do the same thing with these numerical values. And if I'm unhappy, I can reset. 
Now you've also got softness. So I'm just going to crop in from my left and my right. And you can see it's got quite a harsh edge. Now if I increase the softness, you can see that edge becomes softer and I get more of a gradient rather than a harsh edge. Again, I can then click on this icon here to reset everything to what it was. Now a real quick handy tip for you here. If you like setting your output blanking to 2.39 to give it that cinematic cropped top and bottom, that widescreen effect, but you don't want to apply output blanking to your whole timeline, what you can do is come to cropping and in the crop top and crop bottom, just set that to 139 and 139. And that will just crop your image to give you the black bars top and the bottom. And you can do that individually per clip within your timeline. And that's it. I hope that was useful. Now don't get me wrong, that's not necessarily the best way to do this, but it works and it gets the job done. And that's what we like. Now really quickly before I go, if you haven't seen any of the vlogs on my channel, go check them out because I'm in the middle of an experiment. I've moved my big powerful PC and I'm doing all of my DaVinci Resolve stuff on a cloud-based system called Shadow using a tiny 85 quid PC here in this office. So go give that a look to see how I'm getting on. Don't forget to like, comment any feedback down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, take it easy, see you next time.